If you are a content creator, designer or a person who generally works with images, I'm sure that you've removed background from images multiple times. And to be honest, it's a quite straightforward process. You just download the image, open up your favorite image editor, pick lasso tool, select the background, delete the background and export the final image. It's simple, but it actually involves a lot of things to do. So to fix it, we will be using a program named RamBG. By using that, we can go directly from an image URL to image with remote background. So further ado, hit the like button and let's get started. Now, first things first, before we install the RamBG, we first need to make sure that we have Python 3.9.12 installed on our computer. The version is important because if it's another version, it won't work. But that said, you can easily find the required version on the Python's official web. Website. Also, on a side note, if you are on Windows, during the installation, make sure that you check this box to add Python to the environment variables. We will be needing that in a second. In addition to that, you also need to install the Windows distributable C++ 2019 as well. Once everything is ready, we can verify the Python version by opening up the terminal and typing python dash dash version. And as you can see, we are ready to go. Now, let's install RamBG. Luckily, it is a very simple process. All we have to do is type pip install RamBG. If your computer has a GPU, then you can specify it like so. That way, it will process images a lot faster. However, since I'm on my Mac, I will skip it and press enter. Once the installation was completed, we are ready to use RamBG. Let's start off with the most basic usage. In my desktop, I have a random image which I want to get rid of its background. To do it, I type RamBG in my terminal followed by the letter I, which corresponds to the input. Then I give my image name, like so. And finally, I type the output image file and use PNG as the extension, because it supports transparency. Now, once I run it, there we go. Our image is now free from its background. It is pretty nice, however, we can do a lot more. For example, take a look at that. I have a folder full of random images. If I were to remove their background one by one, it would take a lot of time. So what I do instead is I type rambg with p parameter. It corresponds to the path of our folder which contain our images. Then we simply give the output folder path like so. And once I run it, it should create a folder that contains all of our images with their backgrounds removed. Just like that. However, it is still not it. We can do more. Now, let's say that we don't have an image on our computer and we want to use an image from the internet. Well, in that case, we can use curl to grab the image, then pipe it to the rambg input. It almost has the same command structure as the first command that we had used, just like so. And if I were to run it, as you can see, it works properly. And that's it, this is the basic usage of rambg. It still has few other features, and for those, you can always check out the project page on GitHub, which you can find its link in the description down below. In the end, I hope you will find this useful. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.